Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So I know it's been a while, we've been busy, mom life, work life, but today's video is all about home renovation. We've been doing a lot of updates in our home. We updated our kitchen cabinets, I love them. We updated the family room, added some new furniture, updated the powder room. We also updated the laundry room. Yes, I know, we've been very busy. <laughs> I also celebrated my birthday in August. So anyway, today's video is all about that. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment down below. So let's get to it. All right, so before we get started with a cabinet update, I'm gonna take you back to when we updated our appliances. So this was back in January. We updated our refrigerator, dishwasher, range, and microwave to cafe appliances. Oh my gosh, like I absolutely love their appliances. It was between the white and gold and the black and gold. But because we have really dark floors, we decided to go for the white and gold for a good contrast and this was the inspiration behind the color palette that we went for. All right, so back to the kitchen cabinet update. This is what they look like. We actually painted these cabinets from the oak color to this color about five to six years ago. And we've been living here for over 12 years. And I'm like, God knows how long they had these cabinets in here before we moved in. And they are definitely showing their age. So we decided that it was time to update them. You can see the one with the trash can here. Uh, that is a struggle y'all so we are updating our cabinets to ready to assemble cabinets this was the most affordable one that i've seen for the price and the quality um, i will link it down below for you if you're interested so the next day my contractor miguel came in to start the demolition if you are in the dmv area and you're doing any home updates i highly recommend him he is very good i will leave his information for you down in the description box so the first day was demolition they took out everything we are repurposing some of the cabinets in here to our garage for storage and also repurposing it to the laundry room so this was the first day demolition and then we moved on to the second day they started assembling the cabinets so like i said these are ready to assemble cabinets um i will link it for you if you're interested the quality is definitely top notch so it's very similar to the ikea um, cabinets and stuff but i feel like this has a higher quality than that in my opinion so while we were working live i was um having a conversation with miguel so i'll let you guys hear what he is saying right now today is time for making the cabinet material is best material very nice material yeah so today i make it like this couple okay this is the work cabinet this is work cabinet and this is the floor cabinet okay they're also the ones that did my sister's kitchen so you know he does a very very good job so if you are in the dmv area and you're looking for someone to renovate your home definitely check them out I will tag them and check them out. So today is day three. Good morning, everybody. Uh, today it's the, for trying to hook it up the cabinet today in the wall. This is the line where it's going to be the finish. Uh, two sides the cabinet, uh, 36. Mm -hmm. From here it's going to be 36. Mm -hmm. The next one is going to be 15 inches from here. Mm -hmm. And this is my three inches line for the crumbling. So I will um, update you guys on the next day. So they finished the installation on the third day and then we painted a fresh coat of paint on all the walls, which is repose gray. That is why I have the white cabinet. So next we are going to flow in the core to get some backsplash. So we are doing quartz countertop but this is a great option if you're renovating and you don't want to have to pay more to have your countertop material go all the way to your backsplash go to floor and decor and try to find a porcelain tile that really complements your countertop this is a great option and it's very very affordable compared to having the same coarse countertop going up to your backsplash so if you've ever been to a floor and decor you know they have so many different variety and i found one that i think is the one i actually found two but I bought both because I wasn't sure <laughs> and took it home with me and then we started shopping for the countertop they have so many different options of quartz countertop which are more durable the one that I really found that I liked was this one here it was a great contender but the actual slab was just 
so different from the sample so i just decided to go for something more simple because my previous backsplash was really busy so today is the installation of the countertop my contractor actually referred us to someone and that is the person that we decided to go with i will leave the information for the name of my countertop for you down in the description so they had three different cuts for this particular countertop and guys oh my gosh i love it like i love it i wanted some veining we also decided to go with the waterfall design on the side i didn't want the veining to be overpowering so that is why i went with the design here because like i said my previous countertop was very busy and guys check out the tiles from flood decor so this is the backsplash and it looks so so good so the last part was to do all of the electrical and here is what the living room and the kitchen space looks like oh my gosh so i'm going to give you guys a quick tour of the living room if you don't follow me on instagram follow me at moji style i've already given a tour of the living space so we updated our living room we changed out a few things uh, i actually worked with harvardies on my instagram page on the furniture and then we added some molding on the wall the space looks really beautiful we also did a fresh coat of paint which is repose gray in the living room and the kitchen as well so that it just flows well because we have an open floor concept but let's go ahead and check out the kitchen oh my gosh check out the pendant lights i love this pendant lights they're so gorgeous they are from kishler lighting i love their light fixtures i have it all around my home it really makes a statement in here we wanted two oversized pendants in here and these are absolutely gorgeous and looking into the living room you can see we also changed out the light fixtures those are also from kishler they are led lights and they are perfect for the space so let's talk about the cabinets check out the cabinets they look so good so we have two stacked cabinet one is 36 one is 15 and then we added a crown molding here is the backsplash that i got from floor and decor it has more veining than the countertop so it really makes it pop and everything just really flows together so well from the kitchen to the eating area to the living room it all flows really well but then the spaces are all so different so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section about this update i absolutely love it we are already enjoying the space as a family we love the cabinets we love everything about the space so for the cabinets design we decided to go with drawers instead because i feel like they are more functional so leave me a comment down below let me know what you guys think about this update and what your favorite part of this update was and don't forget to thumbs up this video i really appreciate you for doing that it really helps out my channel thank you so much and i'll catch you guys in the next video